Hi guys, let's have a look at question 6 from tutorial 3. The question asks us to find a power series representation for the following functions around the given point C. So we're going to concentrate on 6a here, so question 6a. Uh, we're trying to find the power series of f of z equals to sine, sine z squared around c equals to 0. The reason why we didn't go through this question in the tutorial was it was too similar to the um, question on your assignment which you've all handed in now so we can go through this so we're trying to find a function a power series for f of z equal to sine z squared so we're looking for a Taylor series and we've gone through how to find that you can find f then you can find the derivative the second derivative the third derivative etc and then we can substitute in the point we're trying to find it at f dash of zero f double dash of zero f triple dash of zero and then we want to find a general result for the nth derivative nth derivative evaluated as zero and then we can write that in our power series n equals zero to infinity the nth derivative evaluated at the point we're interested in which is zero on n factorial times z minus the point we're interested in which is zero the power of n and that will be for mod z is less than infinity and the reason why it's infinity is because there's no singularities in sine z squared so that was the one approach but you probably realize pretty quickly on your assignment that that's not the best approach the best approach is as follows is to use the known power series for f of z equal to sine z and that is on your formula sheet for the exam and one you should probably know off by heart and it is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity negative 1 to the power of n so that will oscillate the plus minus plus minus terms then it's z to the power of 2n plus 1 so that gives us odd powers on 2n plus 1 factorial Okay, so this will only give us the odd powers of z. And because sine is an odd function, this is what we, we want. And this is valid for mod z is less than infinity. So it's entire. So what you want to do for f of z equal to sine z squared is to, wherever you see a z in this power series, replace it with a z squared. Sorry, that's a bit messy. I'll try to fix that up. z squared. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we get as follows. So it's equal to the power series from n equals 0 to infinity. Negative 1 to the n, that doesn't depend on z. z, however, does, so I've got to replace that with the z squared to the 2n plus 1 on 2n plus 1 factorial. And that is valid for mod z is less than infinity. Okay, even though I'm replacing z with z squared, that doesn't change the um, radius of convergence. So just expanding that out, we want to get rid of the z squared. I'm going to get n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, z to the 2, uh, sorry, not 2. The, the 2 gets multiplied by this, so it becomes 4n plus 2 on 2n plus 1 factorial. And that's valid for mod z less than infinity. So let's have a look at a couple, or well, the first few terms of this series. So when n's equal to 0, I get negative 1 to the power of 0, which is positive 1. z to the power of 4 times 0 plus 2, so I do get a z squared, that's the first term, on 2n plus 1 factorial. So n's 0, so I get 1 factorial, so I just got a z squared. The next term, n equal to 1, I get a minus. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2, z to the 6 on, put in a 1, 2 plus 1 is 3 factorial, so I get z to the 6 on 3 factorial, which is 6. The next term after that is going to be positive, because i got n equal to 2. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 10, so I get a z to the 10 on 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 factorial, which is 120, and etc, etc. Okay, so that is the power series for z squared, and that is the easiest way to go about a question like this.
So if in the exam you're asked to find the power series of this, don't waste your time finding all these derivatives. Jump straight to the Taylor's, uh, the known series, which is on your formula sheet, and substitute in whatever you have here. In this case, it was z squared. Okay, good luck.